Why does this look like a wrinkled piece of sh Hey besties, welcome back to another episode of KFC, Karina's fashion class. Spring is right around the corner and in case you're confused about the spring trends out there or things are just too overwhelming for you, I, as your big sister, have condensed it down to 10 things that you need this spring that will make you look and feel at your personal best. This first item is for all of my trendy ladies out there you can never go wrong with a pop of red whether it is a shoulder bag or it's a pair of sling bags or even just something small like a hair accessory like a hair bow this is my go-to cherry red bag if you follow me on instagram or tiktok or even youtube shorts you'll see that i actually go for this bag so often i think it's currently sold out i think they're gonna restock in middle of march so definitely are we in the middle of march already? Oh my goodness, we're past the middle of March. Okay, so they should have restocked this by now. I actually have a discount code for this bag, Karina10, for 10% off. I'm gonna be popping all the links down below in the description box so you guys can reference and grab the links straight from this video as opposed to going like Googling and searching for like the SKU of individual items. Price is somewhat of a factor and you're more of like a budget kind of girl, especially for a trend like red that may or may not be going away later on in the year. This is a good option. This is from Pretty Little Thing. I was so shocked when I got this. Definitely exceeded my expectations. Like, look at this. This is so beautiful. Seriously, Kylie should learn from PLT. Why are they paper thin? Look at all the raw hems. Do you guys see that? If you're a little bit on the more daring side, then you can always go for something like this. This is a red crop top with a red bolero. I love it because you can just essentially wear it on its own. Or you can wear it with a bolero like what I'm doing here. This is the season for sling bags. Every single time I need some kind of heels, I just gravitate towards these Michael Kors sling bags. They have a patent finish and a heel that's super easy to walk in. Something about the cap toe design just will forever stand the test of time and will just take a lot of simple outfits to the next level. Super classy, think Chanel ballet flats or even Chanel sling bags. If Chanel sling bags are slightly out of your budget, here is a cap toe sling bag that I found also from Michael Kors. But what I love about these is that they are not sharp toe. It's actually a lot better for walking. These will also work really well for wider feet. And of course, I gotta talk about my cherry red sling bags. These are so gorgeous. I mean, for $20, I was not expecting a footwear of this quality and they're currently sold out but I'm still going to leave a link in the description box and if you're interested in this or the bag, make sure to open it. There's a section on the page that says notify me when it's back in stock. So what I'm really loving this spring and I believe all of you guys will love it are off the shoulder tops. This is not just a regular off the shoulder top. This is a cool off the shoulder top with built-in bra pads. This will take your outfit planning in the morning straight from like a headache to a downright breeze because this just solves so many problems in one go. The bra pads are removable which means you don't have to keep them in if you don't need the support. I find that the bandeau inside is enough to act like a bralette, kind of like a sports bra. Another must-have item that everyone should have in their closet, actually regardless of the season, non-see-through white tops. If I can dedicate my entire YouTube fashion career to one topic only, that would be finding the ultimate collection of non-see-through white tops. Who can relate with me? I want you guys to hit that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know how many times you've been burned by this exact scenario. The first one is Aritzia. This is something that is no joke. I've been recommending this for two or three years ever since I discovered this. This is the Little Ripped Tee by Sunday Best. It does run a little bit on the small size, so I wanted it to be kind of like relaxed fit, so I got a size up. Another one from Aritzia. This is the Contour Tube Top, but this one I've worn in so many of my reels and YouTube videos without a bra. Like I could just go with those like sticky bras and you absolutely cannot see anything. I love it. There's so many reviews on this. It comes in so many different colors. If you like skims or you are a fan of what skims has to offer in terms of their basic collection, you are absolutely going to lose your shit when you hear that this has the identical fabric composition as skims for half the price. This is from Amazon. I did a reel on this one and over 7,000 people 
commented on my reel saying they're interested in this top and I even have people who already know about this brand DM me and letting me know that this has worked wonders for them like they're never looking back to skims again I'm probably gonna lose any potential skin sponsorship by saying this <laughs> that is how much I love you guys okay I just honestly over here recommending the best things I can find and you guys all know I'm gonna be like a thousand trillion percent honest with all of my videos. This is how non see-through they are. I'm wearing a black bra on the bottom. Absolutely cannot see through it. Same brand in a t-shirt format. This is absolutely amazing. I've seen so many people comparing and contrasting this with the Skims one and they look and feel identical. So I mean like, why not? <gasps> oh my god, you guys! Okay, so I also got a black one. I feel like you just can't go around with white and black in your closet for spring and summer and fall and all year round. My love for cardigans has been resurrected. At first, I absolutely hated cardigans. I feel like it just gives such like a grandma vibe. Who remembers that Aritzia cardigan that has like a little open and close bracket symbol down the front? But everyone was wearing those and I think my brain was a little bit scarred. Maybe it's an age thing, like I'm finally starting to like dress my age. The striped one I wore in my lookbook here. If you guys haven't watched this lookbook, we are gonna have a problem. I'm just kidding. Just go watch it now, then we won't have any problems. This one is a very Selena inspired for I think like $20 or something ridiculous and the quality is amazing. This one I got from Zara. It is extremely non-true to size but it doesn't stop me from wearing it with this little cute black dress and it's so Chanel inspired. All the contrast stitching. That's another thing I'm super obsessed with by the way. This white cute cardigan that I also wore in my lookbook. I love this because it's not scratchy or anything. You can literally just wear it as a top on its own, just don't like, you know, open it and like flash everyone. Or you can. And then we have a super gorgeous pink one from Cezanne, which I have a love hate relationship with Cezanne or Cezanne. 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 Oh, I feel very embarrassed at the fact that I minored in French in university and I still can't pronounce this brand. Cezanne. 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 <laughs> This is the Gaspard cardigan. I absolutely love all of their Gaspard cardigans. In fact, I think I have about six. For reference, this is a Zara small and this is a Cezanne double extra small. The only thing that makes me feel more like a rich girl than cardigans are boucle jackets. Make sure you check the description box for the exact link because there's so many that look so similar on H&M. What I link will be the item. But we have the pink one. It's like not too neon pink, not too Barbie-like. This is a white cream color. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Ah! I can just be in this the entire day. And then this is a taupe, kind of like darker cream shade. Love the fact that they are lined on the inside. It was very surprising to me that this H&M jacket didn't come in a black color but that didn't stop me from getting it on Zara. If I had to pick one, I would suggest going for the H&M jacket over the Zara jacket because the Zara jacket just fits a little bit more on the relaxed side. It's not as structured and the material feels a little bit heavier, whereas the H&M one skews more on the lighter side. It's more feminine and it's more affordable. Next up, we have midi skirts. Of course, we need a black, Mini skirt as one of the most basic colors out there. This goes with so many things and every single time I'm in a midi skirt, I instantly just feel like a successful adult. Same skew but in lemon yellow. This is so adorable. I wore it in this video and you guys, this is like summer sunshine in a skirt. I love that it's not bright yellow. It's more like a pastel -y, very wearable kind of yellow. Reminds me of Kate Hudson in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, but in like a skirt format. And a skirt that is so feminine. This is a micro pleated midi skirt from Dynamite. If I could personify spring into a outfit combo, it would be a white top and the skirt itself. And a shade of pink that is largely wearable and so flattering on all body types. If you're gonna have one jeans in your closet, 
to go with every single top you own. It has to be these straight leg jeans. No kidding, as soon as I discovered this two years ago, I've been wearing it nonstop. If I wanna wear something elevated, I go for these. If I wanna wear something basic, I go for these. This is the regular length. They also have one in a longer length. And the fact that it's high rise makes my millennial heart very very happy if you are in the market for a slightly dressier type of pants then look no further than these pleated pants these are a gorgeous cream color and i actually wore them in this video right here i think they are the perfect functional adult aesthetic kind of old money timeless but still trendy i love that the fabric is so drapey it's completely double lined all the way only downside to these is that they don't have belt hoops. This is the only exception I will make because it just feels like a dream. Trench coat time. Why on earth do I need five, six trench coats in a similar color, in a similar length? The only two that I reach for are actually these two. It just feels absolutely so smooth, it's so comfy, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. This is from Oak and Forge. If you've been to the store, then you know that this is one of their best sellers. I always find myself reaching for this particular trench coat because of one reason. It just does not crease. This is another one that I highly suggest for everyone. It is made from a faux leather material. Love this. I think it's very work appropriate. It's very real spring appropriate. Before anyone out there comes at me with like these are not real spring outfits. Unlike all of these cotton ones, they may look amazing. I promise you as soon as they're on your body and you're out and about, you come back, you're like, why does this look like a wrinkled piece of shit? For accessories, because your outfit is not complete without accessories. We're seeing more of these type of statement earrings that are large, have like the intricate patterns on them, and they're more or less like stud earrings over hoop earrings. They look so good, you guys. Like I feel like these type of earrings will look the best when you are wearing some sort of very minimalistic, classy outfit like this one here, or like a off-the-shoulder top where your neckline is kind of minimal from jewelry. These downright remind me of like a type of snack I had in my childhood days. I think it's called like ring crisps or like ring crunches. Oh, they kind of remind me of like broken down ramen. <laughs> they just make your outfit look so elevated and makes you look so put together, especially with all of the old money, like quiet luxury type outfits that you have going on. Typically, there's not much loudness in the outfits per se. So I freaking love it. <laughs> You know, when I start yelling is when I get really, really passionate and excited about things. This is just way too cute. These are little gold ribbon bows lined with tiny rhinestones. Okay, I like, so apparently this is not 10 things you need for spring anymore. But I just have so many cool things that I want to share with you guys. Okay, next up we have sheer tights, but in your own skin color. Spring is a really good chance to experiment with different colors of tights. That's why we've been seeing a lot of like red tights. But these ones are actually very wearable, you know, IRL. Let's say you emerge from your hibernation of the winter time and your legs look like two pale sheets of paper. These are the perfect way to add some color into your legs without having the need to do any kind of like spray tan or any kind of tanning for that matter. It's also a great way to hide any varicose veins that you might have. A lot of people have been saying that. Or if you're too lazy to shave your legs or you just don't want to be shaving your legs at all. And I believe I wore this one for this look right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a little bit darker than my actual skin tone. Incoming, we have sunscreen. I feel like when the colder months roll around, a lot of people just forget that they need sunscreen. It's not like the sun stops shining during the colder months. And I don't even care if I'm being like super naggy. But don't forget sunscreen. Don't forget sunscreen. Don't forget sunscreen. So I absolutely love Japanese and Korean sunscreens. These ones are the ones that I have been using for a while. So this is the Can Make one. It has SPF 50 and I always use this after all of my serums and my creams in the morning time despite rain or shine. This is another good one by Maquillage. These ones are perfect because they act as a makeup base and sunscreen. So it's two in one. It also color corrects any imperfections on your skin. So this one I have in a purple color. On days where you feel like you want to be a little bit more on the go, but you don't want to be like doubling up your sunscreen because there are times when like it tends to pill on your face. Or if you're just lazy, you can go for foundations that has 
built-in sunscreen to them. This is a really weird phenomenon that I have noticed. They are YSL Luminous Matte in the same shade. But if you come to the back, you'll notice that one of them has SPF on it and the other one doesn't. So this one without the sunscreen, I got from Canada where I'm located. And then the one with the sunscreen, I actually got off of a Yes Style. So my solution to you is if you are in North America and you would like to get a version of your favorite foundation but with SPF, you can always source it from a reputable online store that sources directly from their Asian counterparts. Amazon often carry fake makeup products. My go-to has always been Yes Style. As much as I love juicy, plumpy lips, I have nothing against lip fillers and I've gotten them like five years ago. I just wish I have the money <laughs> to afford them. So I'm gonna get plump, juicy lips from a lipstick. This is the Chanel La Rouge Duo and I've mentioned this so many times. On my TikTok and my Instagram, if you guys follow on me, you'll know that this is the most transfer-proof lip color that I have ever tried in my life. It basically comes in two ends. So this end is the colored version and this other one is a clear gloss where you swipe it on top and it's not going anywhere. Like I actually had this on and I went to eat huo guo, which is hot pot and it like lasted the entire time, all two hours. I was so surprised. Here I am just making out with this wine glass. You might see a little bit of stain as in like the clear gloss kind of like stickiness coming off, but nothing with color. It's totally transfer proof. The last closet essential or thing that you need in your closet can be anything you want under the sun. I don't care if it's skin tight, skinny jeans, like if that makes you happy, you go for it, girl. I don't care if it's a peplum top that you got from H&M or your five layers of Hollister tank top before your Abercrombie hoodie. I feel like a lot of times we just care too much about how other people see us. You know, whether this outfit is appropriate for 30 year old moms, whether this outfit is considered trendy. Sometimes it's not just about looking good. You also have to feel good on the inside too. I also think it's very important to just wear what makes you happy. If that is something that is no longer trendy now, who cares? Just because some random girl on YouTube is telling you to have this and this and the pop of red and this, like why must you listen to her? <laughs> I was go out of business. It's important to take everything I say with a grain of salt and apply it to your own life because I'm not you. I can't speak for everyone. I don't know what makes you happy. I want you guys to leave me a comment letting me know what comfort item is your go-to whenever you're trying to feel your best. As always, I love you. Keep going. You got this. I'm so proud of how far you've come and I'll see you in my next video.